good after back to back losses? How pleasing was it for the boys to bounce back so emphatically like that? Oh, it was great. Uh, it was great. Obviously, you know, guys stepped up. Um, you know, Quats obviously had uh, a hell of a game. I mean, he stepped up, and kudos to him. Uh, honestly, without without his stretch in that first half, that kind of took the lead from two to eight. I mean, who knows where we would be, but he trusted the process. Um, you know, all the guys played well. DJ stepped up in the second half, but this guy's been putting the work in. Um, you know, he's got a couple DMPs, a couple uh, low-minute games, and he just stuck with the process, and he's been putting the work in, and it paid off. I'm happy uh, for him, but without his performance tonight, um, who knows? So uh, the previous losses, it's one game at a time. Win, lose, before, it doesn't matter. We move on. But I'm happy for this guy. What was what was said at halftime? Uh, they just talked as a collective unit uh, without me saying anything that we just, you know, defensively is where it's got to be. Um, you know, we've given up uh, too many points in the second half. Uh, I believe we gave up 51 uh, to Cairns in the first half. Uh, we gave up 106 the entire game to Tazzy at home, 36 in the first quarter. It starts on the defensive end. Um, so we just got to get stops consistently. Um, and I thought we did that uh, for good stretches throughout the entire 40 minutes. Yeah, for sure, 100%. Uh, he's starting to mesh, and the guys are starting to get a feel for him uh, with his second game being back, but also multiple weeks of practice as well. So they're starting to get that camaraderie. Can you give us an idea of what Jonah brings when he gets out there, not just on the board, but also his passing and his shooting as well? Yeah, yeah. Jonah's uh, done a, I mean, a great job for us. I mean, he's leading the team in rebounding. Um, you know, and he's probably, um, I'm not sure, exactly sure where he is after tonight on the minutes, but he just crashes a glass on both ends of the floor and his ability to stretch the floor. He just brings a different versatility than Jordy. Jordy does uh, a great job putting pressure on the rim with his roles where Jonah can space the floor uh, and play make for others. So it just allows, allows us to be versatile. Um, him, Kwa, DJ at the five, like, I mean, you just have a ton of vers uh, versatility all day. It was a, a tough night for Tyler Harvey and just the guys just understanding that we got to play defense for 24 seconds each possession. Uh, truly, like I said, it was this is coming from the guys, not from me. Um, you know, I can say all I want, but at the end of the day, they got to go out there and do it. But they just understood what it took uh, after the back to back losses. They knew that defensively we've got to get stops, and they understood. Coming into tonight, Justin Robinson and Harvey were leading their team uh, in three-point attempts. We just have to make them feel us and be physical with them, and they did a great job. Great game for Hobbs and Adams, as you were mentioning. And then, of course, that, but they all chipped in tonight. Did you also think that taking them out of the game, that the actual team, I just mentioned Tyler Harvey, in that second, third, and fourth quarter made a difference? Because in the first quarter, it was a really close game. So did you think that's where it changed? No, we honestly, we don't, um, we don't truly lock in on one specific guy. You know, we're switching uh, a ton. We just got to do a great job of guarding one-on-one, -on -one, and it's going to be five-on-five. -five. If our bigs get beat on the perimeter, we got to make sure the rotation is there because we understand that we're put in a cross match already. So it's not, we don't go on it specifically like, hey, we got to take Harvey out, we got to take Justin Robinson out. It's more so we want to force certain shots, and then we just got to make sure that we finish possessions. But we got to do a better job of Getting defensive rebounds, and we, we gave up too many tonight. Did you think fouls were still, yeah, I was going to say, still the, probably a big problem, you know? Probably the only bad thing that I saw in the game, because yes, there were, the Kings did get a lot of fouls. In another game, that could be a bad thing. How do you look at that? Yeah, we just have to do a better job of being in our spots early. Uh, so I thought we were a step late, uh, especially in the fourth quarter. Uh, we just started to play the score a little bit. Uh, but we were step late in our rotations, and they were, they were good calls. At that day, we weren't in legal guarding position, uh, but we just have to be a, do a better job of being uh, in our spots. Yeah, I feel good. Um, great to get a win. Uh, you know, obviously, I had a good game, but, um, you know, it's not going to be like that every night. So my job is just to come in and bring energy, and um, if I play more minutes, then so be it. But if I don't, then... I can be the greatest cheerleader, whatever you need me to do, that's what I'm willing to do. Coach said that you've been working pretty hard. Do you feel like when you did get the chance to play six, seven minutes on the floor, that you could come up with performance like that? Yeah, um, all my confidence come from, you know, the work I put in. Um, 
So when I'm on the court, it's nothing new. I've been playing basketball my whole life. So it's just about the opportunity. And if I get that, great. If not, um, you know, I'm good with that too. It's been special this week to uh, play a team like the Hawks, a rivalry team like that. Yeah, um, big rivalry. So obviously to get a win, we lost two in a row and uh, we didn't, didn't want to make it three. So came out today with great energy and played great defense and got a great win. Coach, uh, you spoke about trusting the, the players and how they sort of came together at halftime and figured it out themselves. You don't call many timeouts either, and you kind of let players run out. Well, why do you have so much confidence in this group? You haven't been here for that long in this league for that long. What gives you that confidence in these guys? Uh, number one, just seeing their work ethic, uh, Ogan just in practice, and then number two, just uh, the accountability that they have amongst themselves and their willingness to be held accountable uh, for me as well. Um, it's my job to coach them in practice and hold them to the standards that they want to be held to, and then come game time, at the end of the day, it, they either know or they don't. Um, so I can't change anything in the game. Um, it's my job to instill confidence in practice. Um, and then when they go out in the game, I tell, I let them know, this is your time to go shine. I'm just sitting here. I get the best seats in the house. So what are the timeouts for you then? What do you see then as an opportunity for you to do? Just instill that confidence again. If I feel that guys are hesitating on either end of the floor or they're down on themselves, just to let them know that they put the work in uh, from, from the start and they've been playing basketball for the rest of their life. That's about it. It's, or basketball for their entire life. That's all it is. Just... At the end of the day, everyone's going to take some of the same shots. Everyone runs the same type of offense. Confidence is the biggest skill to have. And I just want to make sure that everyone that steps on the floor has confidence every night. Coach, uh, how many of this game with a league high for assists per game? You won that stat 24 30. How much pride does that stat give you? Yeah, yeah, it's great. Uh, and it just goes to uh, just having confidence in the guys and then the guys having confidence in each other. Um, truly, it's at the end of the day, that's, those are the numbers I look at. Um, I look at the assist and, and I look at the offensive rebounds. Uh, I don't look at field goals. Um, I'm not looking at free throws. Uh, if those two numbers are on point, uh, I know we're playing well and guys are having fun and playing together. Great at the game in commentary, Renard Copeland says, this is a new team, but it doesn't look like a new team. So how have you brought them into sync so quickly together? Uh, it's not like I said, I, mean, I, I felt we were in sync. You know, getting DJ back, it's always tough when you get a guy that's expected to play 25, 30 minutes, uh, throw him in the lineup, and he's trying to feel himself, and then other guys are trying to feel how we can get him shots. Uh, but at the end of the day, he, like, he, uh, Quad steps up, DJ steps up, you know, Glove steps up, makes some great defensive plays. It, it's just as a collective unit, they're all, they're all just trusting one another. Thank you guys. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam.